Hello there! Since a long time ago, I wished if I ever could get a relatively new high-end phone for the price of a budget smartphone. In short, I have finally found it. This is the HTC Tenivu, or the HTC Bold as it's called, it's called in the United States. This phone resembles too much to my daily driver, the iPhone 7 Plus, in many ways. The screen size, the metal chassis, heck, even it has the fingerprint sensor in the bottom front of the phone. So, what sets this phone apart from the newer flagship phones? Well, let's see. If you saw my last review on the HTC One M9, I would say they are very similar. But the HTC Ten Evo have a bit more extra features to it. Let's start with the specs. The phone, as I said before, very similar to the HTC One M9. It has a Snapdragon 810, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of storage, with the ability to add a micro SD card to it. But because this was launched at the end of the 2016, it has extra features such as bigger 5.5 inch display with a resolution of 4040p, fingerprint sensor and of course the lack of headphone jack, which you would not see in a 2015 flagship phone. Starting with the OS experience, the OS is really smooth, not pure Android smooth but very smooth and it won't lag unless you have installed a really heavy app running in the background. Battery life is about average. I usually get about two and a half and three and a half of on-screen time, depending on the usage and the screen brightness, which I really recommend always not putting it at 100% so you could save a bit of juice. I have mixed feelings about heat on this device. This device when runs hot could reach up to 42 degrees, but only when running intense apps or games. When I casually use the phone, temperature goes from 34 to 38, 39 degrees, which is fine for me. I also use a case, which may increase the phone temperature by 1 degree, but at the same time, isolate the heat from the metal chassis, so that I don't get bothered by it, which I think is a good idea. Gaming performance is fine. It depends if you want performance plus graphics rather than controlling the temperature. C. The phone have under developer options to maximize performance. When you check it, it disables any thermal throttling or performance decrease when the phone reaches 42 degrees. I don't recommend playing very long with that option because some games could make the phone reach up to 50 degrees, which is I think very dangerous. Instead, if you see any performance decrease in the game, try to decrease its graphics down or use the HTC boost option to optimize the game more by decreasing its resolution. Media consumption in this device is really good in every way, except the speakers. They are not that great, not because that they are not loud, but the sound just feels like... Other than that, the display is amazing. Going back to the headphone jack and the lack of one, Maybe you won't like it, but in all honesty, I got used to not have a headphone jack, and it's just fine. I would say especially for this phone. This headphone right here are the best I ever had. Heck, it's even better than my iPhone 7 Plus headphones. I really enjoy listening to these headphones. They are just really good for what they should be. The camera in this phone is really interesting. Compared to the HTC One of mine, it's way better in daylight. It produces more color, sharper images. In low light, it's better not to talk too much about it, but I would say don't expect too much of this phone regarding that. I'll leave you with some video and photo samples shot by this phone. I want to say this is indeed an amazing phone so good that I would have no problem switching from my iPhone 7 plus to this at the end of the day 
I hope you liked my video and see you in the next one.